after that, I can tell from the ambient noises coming through your phone that you are. Did you also tell your rents you were gonna stay over at Tina's place for the next five nights? Because you better. I know firsthand how protective your mom is, and the last thing we need is her berating us for something that is, honestly, your fault. I mean, it was a pretty easy bit, still can't believe you lost it. <laughs> Anyways, I checked the place out myself earlier today, you know, to make sure there wasn't anything that would actually kill you, and I found out that this place surprisingly still has some of its power on, mostly for the life of security systems. But don't ask me who still pays the electricity bill. Because of that, you also can't go anywhere outside of the warehouse department without a keycard, which means you are probably in that gigantic hallway with no light bulbs for some reason. I mean, hey, that does ensure it's scarier for you who... What's that? You found a working camera tablet? Well, ain't that handy. If my assumptions are correct, then it's gotta be an SASS system. Those were the most commonly used security systems by companies, because of how cheap they were. If that is the case, then that also means the cameras are connected with all the phones in this building. Yeah, I'll be real with you, I have no idea why they thought that feature was a good idea, other than the fact that security guards could use it to prank call all the employees in that room. Oh, by the way, since you are in the warehouse department, and this was a robot manufacturing factory after all, there probably are some old robots from decades ago that nobody cares about anymore. Too bad you can't see them though, because of them being hidden inside the storage rooms, which can also only be accessed by keycard, so only something from the inside can open it. But, since the power for this place is still on, there may be a possibility that some of the robots are still partially active. If that is true, and you start seeing old robots from crappy old restaurants walking around, maybe you can use that phone thing on your cameras to prank call them. I mean, that is a better option than just sleeping through the whole night, right? One more thing before I go. If you really don't like sitting around in a pitch black hallway, you could use that flashlight from your cell phone to light it up. But it probably wouldn't work because of the condition of your phone. I mean, I've seen you drop it so many times it's a miracle it still works at all. And I remember you tried to use the flashlight feature once, but all it gave out was a big flash. But I guess that is better than nothing, I suppose. Alright, I've been talking long enough now, and I really gotta go to sleep now if I don't want to fall on my desk in class tomorrow. Remember, at 6 a.m. you can just go out there and feel proud of yourself for not being a chicken. So, good night.
Thank <laughs> you.